It sounds almost too crazy to be true, but our universe is bursting with galaxies that shouldn't exist. They are so old that they challenge the Dark Ages, and James Webb has now even discovered two galaxies that are among the oldest galaxies ever seen. We have to ask ourselves what all these discoveries mean and which of our scientific approaches now need to be completely redefined. Have we believed the wrong thing for almost a century? And are we possibly living in a universe that has no beginning? Our technology is making enormous progress. With James Webb, we launched a revolutionary observatory in the summer of 2022, whose light sensitivity and range represent such a significant advance that we can now observe even the faintest light in the infrared range with ease. This allows us to see much further into the universe than in Hubble's time. This increased sensitivity of James Webb is crucial for observing objects that existed shortly after the Big Bang. The main difference in light sensitivity between Hubble and JWST lies in their ability to observe different wavelength ranges of light. While Hubble works mainly in the visible and ultraviolet light spectrum, JWST concentrates on the infrared range. Thanks to this technique, James Webb also sends his X-ray vision through dust clouds and makes galaxies visible that were previously inaccessible to Hubble. Hubble's discoveries were already fantastic and laid many of the foundations for what we know today about the early universe. James Webb is now ready to push these boundaries even further. It looks like this telescope will now take our science in a whole new direction. Sensational! Uncover Z12 and Uncover Z13 Let's move on to the new telescope's first stroke of genius. In the Pandora Galaxy Cluster, the James Webb Telescope has detected two incredible galaxies that are so far away that they can only be seen through gravitational lensing. In fact, these two galaxies are located in the Galaxy Cluster Abel 2744, about 3.5 billion light years away from us. The immense gravity of the cluster distorts space-time at this point like the convex glass of a magnifying glass. This magnifies areas in the background and makes objects visible that are extremely far away. Scientists from Penn State Eberly College of Science use James Webb's ultra-deep, near-spec and near-cam systems for this search, actually to gain clues from the epoch of the reionization of space, revealing two of the most sensational old redshift galaxies ever seen. Cosmological redshift occurs when wavelengths of light stretch due to the continuous expansion of the universe. The further away a galaxy is, the more the universe has expanded as the light has traveled through space towards us. On this journey, it shifts increasingly into the red color spectrum. The more red we see, the further away the object is. The infrared wavelengths that reveal these two galaxies could never be seen by humans with their eyes but the near-infrared camera and the near-infrared spectrometer of James Webb hardly miss any light, no matter how faint. Determining their age quickly revealed that we are dealing with two truly unusual galaxies. Are they so old that they shouldn't actually exist? The newly discovered galaxy Uncover Z13 has a redshift of 13.079, making it the second most distant known galaxy. The most distant confirmed galaxy is currently Jade's GS Z13, which was also discovered by James Webb. Here, we see Uncover Z13 as it looked just 330 million years after the Big Bang. The other galaxy discovered by the same scientists is Uncover Z12. It has a redshift of 12.393, which puts it in fourth place among the oldest and most distant galaxies. It existed when the universe was only 350 million years old. The appearance of the two uncovered galaxies is quite unusual. Other galaxies with similarly high redshifts usually appear dot-shaped, but the two uncovered galaxies have the unusual structure of a peanut and a fluffy ball. Both galaxies are also unusually large, with Uncover Z12 showing an edge-on disk six times larger than any other galaxy ever seen at this epoch. Incredible! Macy's Galaxy the next galaxy miracle was discovered by Dr. Stephen Finkelstein. For the U.S. astronomer, the study of galaxy evolution is not just a discipline that explains how stars group together. Finkelstein sees research into the history of the universe and the reconstruction of developments within space-time 
as the story of the origin of man himself. Somewhere in the story of how stars and planets are formed must also lie the answers to where life comes from and how it spreads through space. The astronomer at the Department of Astronomy at the University of Texas at Austin and principal investigator of the SEER search for extremely old galaxies used the James Webb Telescope to track down galaxies in the spectrum Z equals 6 through 10. These galaxies were previously almost impossible to detect with Hubble's technology. But now, James Webb also gave Finkelstein and his team completely new perspectives, enabling them to make a sensational discovery. On his daughter Macy's birthday, Finkelstein discovered a galaxy that demonstrably has a redshift of 11.4 and thus only existed 390 million years after the Big Bang. Macy's galaxy is also remarkably full of stars, and more stars are still being formed in this galaxy. This makes it a real wonder for its age. In Webb's new images, Finkelstein and his team found a veritable flood of complex galaxies. Some of them resemble pinwheels, others look like blotchy specks or wafer-thin vortices. The researchers are currently on the trail of around a dozen more galaxies that could be far older. Some of them showed redshifts of up to 15z and more in initial measurements. GNZ11 a window into the early days of the universe. With a distance of an incredible 13.4 billion light years, GNZ11 is also a real relic from the past of the universe. For once, the discovery of GNZ11 was not made by James Webb, but by Hubble. In 2016, the veteran of space telescopes proved that he still has a lot up his sleeve and surprised the scientific community with the discovery of this galaxy. GNZ11 is also so old that it calls previous cosmology into question. It already existed 400 million years after the Big Bang, and, like Macy's galaxy, it shows an unexpectedly high star formation rate. All these galaxies speak one language. They are so highly organized, full of old stars, and wonderfully structured, that they could not possibly have taken only 400 or 300 million years to grow. They must be older if we trust our current cosmological models, but that would mean that their age extends beyond the Big Bang. No Dark Ages? Around 13.8 billion years ago, our universe is said to have begun with the Big Bang. At that moment, space expanded abruptly from a single point. The universe was initially extremely hot and dense plasma in which electrons and protons danced around loosely. Scientists calculated that after about 380,000 years, the universe had cooled enough to form the first stable hydrogen and helium atoms. Then it slowly became light in the universe and the dark era ended. Photons interacted with free protons and electrons and could not travel freely through space. With the formation of the first atoms, the universe became transparent and light was able to spread freely. This first light is known today as cosmic microwave background radiation. Theoretically, we can look back to this point in time with telescopes. However, even James Webb is currently not good enough to see that far. The telescope's range is about 13.5 billion years and perhaps a little more. But we can observe the cosmic microwave back. James Webb has now served us a whole series of galaxies that existed only 350 million years after the Big Bang. Galaxies take billions of years to evolve especially beautifully shaped and highly organized galaxies, such as those discovered by Finkelstein and his team. This would mean that the age of the discovered galaxies would have to extend back into the Dark Ages, which is not really possible. How could there have been galaxies at that time if atoms of hydrogen and helium had only just formed? All these discoveries call into question the most important aspects of conventional cosmological models. It's possible that the Dark Ages of the universe were much shorter than thought, or that the first stars and galaxies were formed earlier or grew faster. Perhaps the universe was also more complex and dynamic in its youth, or the physical conditions were completely different from today. No Nonstop Expansion It looks as if we will have to say goodbye to many old concepts and also rethink the assumed nonstop expansion of the universe. Edwin Hubble first observed that galaxies were moving away from us in the 1920s. This observation actually led to the idea of the Big Bang Theory. 
Around the same time as Hubble, George Lemaitre came up with the idea that the universe had expanded from a single point. Hubble's and Lemaitre's ideas later merged and formed the basis of cosmology, which is still valid today. In recent decades, many observations have cast doubt on the idea of an uninterrupted expansion of the universe. One of these observations concerns the mysterious force of dark energy, which supposedly causes the universe to expand even faster. In 1998, scientists Saul Perlmutter, Brian Schmidt, and Adam Rees raised questions about how the rate of expansion of the universe might have changed over billions of years. Since then, dozens of researchers have found similar evidence. But sometimes the expansion seems to be linear, then not. And so some scientists have since concluded that the universe is not expanding at the same rate and to the same extent in all places, and that this could be related to the mysteries of dark energy and dark matter. However, we still know too little about dark energy and dark matter to fully understand the secrets of the universe. Paul Steinhardt and Neil Turok's model proposes that the universe goes through a series of expansions and contractions rather than a single, steady expansion. Fred Hoyle, on the other hand, found evidence that the universe has always existed and remains in a constant state. He attributed the phenomena of apparent expansion to measurement and observation errors. If we believe the Big Bounce theory, the expansion of the current universe is the result of a previous collapsing universe and not a Big Bang. Subscribe to the channel now. There are many more great videos to come.